these things do come to light, there does tend to be an investigative process and individuals are held accountable. Now, there are, in, in my view, some really serious issues with how that process has unfolded. I mean, I think most notably um, how Abu Ghraib was handled. But in each of these episodes, there, there is a process to understand what happened and hold the individual to account. I do know that the chaplain in the military, um, as well as uh, junior officers and mid-level officers, are given guidelines on, on what to look for in terms of potentially problematic soldiers and try to, to do triage and, and try to do some sort of intervention. It's clearly not enough. And as I said, I, you know, I think that when I look at this, I, I see it within the context of many other things that our soldiers seem to be doing that suggest a breakdown in leadership. And I, you know, I'll also add that I can't, that there's a, there's a misalignment, you know, American public think that our troops are out there to do peacekeeping or peace delivery, but what they're actually doing there is, is, is actually combat, right? Their friends are being blown up. And so I think there's a, a disconnect between what we're being told is a hearts and minds mission and what they're actually encountering is combat.